All right, guys, it's been a little bit since I've been online. Um, work and all, I'm back at work after the vacation, so I'm not going to be making videos quite as often. You'll see them go up more on the weekends. Um, it's Thursday night, it's about 12 a.m. or 1 a.m., and I couldn't sleep, so here I am. Um, so, yeah, cute, I'm level 38. Um, I have built up some rest time since I've been, I haven't been playing here, and I've been playing the Druid a little bit. Um, I need to do her profession stuff, because she's got quite a bit of ore. Her bars in the mailbox, like, actually a ton. But for now, we're going to head back to STV, and we're going to see if we can complete some of the STV quests. I've got a bunch of them, I believe. Let's take a look. And we're getting to the point now where we can maybe do Scarlet Monastery as well. I'm not really set up for tanking, though, so I may not... Let me take a look at the, re the rewards for the Scarlet Monastery. Because <clears throat> the rewards can be really nice. Like, here's a, a neck piece. Although, I was able to get, I think, a next piece that's okay. So, the stamina, force spirit. And this is, you know, 6-6. Six, six. And then there's the inner name of the light, which gives me a one hand sword, which actually is pretty, pretty good. I mean, 30. It's actually. Man. It's not as good as what I have because mine's a little bit faster and gives me the armor and the defense, but the Knight's Stamina is really good. So. Wait a minute. Sword? Is that. Is that, is that yeah, it was a main hand sword. That's a big main hand sword. Anyway, so. I'll probably try to get into Scarlet Monastery, but I don't have a. As you guys know, I'm not really specced into tanking right now. Um, I could pick it up, though. I mean, honestly, I could hit like. Th I could take my next three talents and go into Improve Righteous Fury. Well, maybe the next two. Because I bet the, the third one would go into Blessing of Sanctuary. Um, I don't mind paying the five gold for the respec. Although I need to start farming some more gold. I'm only 11.6 and I've only got maybe seven or eight on my main, on my banker. So, pretty poor at the moment. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on, or not a lot, but some people talking about classic wow and i know i've expressed my concerns that i really don't have any faith in blizzard right now and i just don't feel like they could pull off classic wow without messing it up <laughs> but you know i could be wrong maybe maybe they will uh get their heads out of their butts and start doing things the way they should which is the right way but it's hard to it's hard to believe that that's possible because they don't have Chris, you know, Chris Vincent. They don't have Mike Morham anymore. You don't have Jeff Kaplan working on, you know, Kaplan was always one of my favorites because he always seemed to have that, I don't know, I hate to say Dungeons Dragons, but he just felt like someone who, you knew, who I knew would know growing up who played D&D. &D. And, and I wasn't a big D&D &D nerd growing up, and I played D&D, &D, I loved D&D, &D, but I played sports too, so I was very active um, in sports as well as, you know, gaming and Dungeons Dragons. I pretty much did everything. I've always been that way. I've always, always had a lot of interests. But, um, you know, he just seems like that kind of person that really, you know, <laughs> I was really into fantasy and uh, adventure. But let's see what we can do here. We have these chapter quests available. There's always a lot of people getting killed. I see, I'm seeing some bones. Let's check the server pop. It's always a good thing on this server to check. 6400 is about where it usually is at this time of the day. Which means there's plenty of people online. Which means there's going to be plenty of people ganking. So, I still need the last hit. The last hit wrappers and the Elder Stranglethorn Tigers and the Shadowfall Panthers. So, let's see if we can get a few of those. Um, and see how it goes. See if I can avoid getting killed too many times. Still have a pretty good amount of food on me. Oh yeah, plenty. Let's put this over here. Plenty of drinking water because we've been farming the elementals. So that's not a problem. There's even the Isle Hands right here. And there's a horde that probably killed them. So still lots of PvP going on. There's a 60 rogue, which Makes me happy when I see level 60s over here. Hopefully he's gonna try to help clean out some of the riffraff. Let's 
ZG buff coming soon. That would be cool. No, it's like the locks on me. So, what level is this lock? Level thirty. Is he really coming after me? <laughs> I can't believe level thirty locks really gonna come after me. He probably could. You know, he could. He could kill me, maybe. Yeah, that, they're very powerful in uh, vanilla. They can do a lot of like long, long fear stuns, fear rotations, where you're basically feared a lot. Pretty much feared like most of the fight. So we're just gonna head out. <laughs> I wish I was there. That's the one thing, the only thing I don't like about leveling the protection paladin is they're not really good for PvP. And it can be it can be frustrating to uh, you know, to always feel like, wow, you know. Like I could go after that warlock, but if he gets one fear up, it gets a lot of dots on me. It could, it could turn into a pretty interesting fight because the prop paladin just does not do well against magic damage. So my, all my armor that I have, and I've got a lot, you know, and this is without devotion or those magical spells and dots, they just eat right through me. They just ignore all that armor because they're magic. So. So what we're gonna do is we need to get the troll first troll in here. Actually, we need this troll engine too. So I'm actually gonna see if I can get the troll legends. These are the ones that really uh, there's a lot of horde that pretty much gank. I'm talking kind of quietly, so I don't be too noisy. So my girl gets sleeping, but the the horde gank through here quite a bit. Um, it can be pretty rough. Can slide around these guys, I think. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this guy. Let's take one potion. See if we can save our lay on hands. I don't know what happened to my wisdom buff either. He has such a free of me. I haven't played in a few days. Or it feels like at least I haven't played in a few days. Not enough mana. Let's go ahead and get our food buff here. The other thing too is, do I have a turn on dead? So, which I think is, let's check that keybind real quick. Um, when you're fighting the warlock, we can do turn on dead on his pet, but his pet's a demon. Um, I don't think it's gonna work on a demon. Let's see, right action bar. It is control R, control middle mouse, control or shift mouse wheel up. So we can certainly try. I don't think the uh, that the tanking warlock pet could constitutes as a as an undead though. So that's that's gonna be interesting. But we gotta walk all the way up the hill over here, which can be kind of a Pain in the butt. 
The other thing that makes this area really, really difficult is you saw it in that last fight. The the casters will hit you, and then run, and then you'll get rode by one of the melee, and then the casters will run away, and they'll be just shooting at you from a distance, even though they only have like maybe five percent health left. Um, but there's not a whole lot you can do because you're rode. Now, I'm, of course, I can use hand of freedom, but blessing of freedom, but. But it doesn't always, you know, they always, sometimes they'll just rope you again. So, uh, what do we got going on here? Druid. even a little bit more. We're trying to see if there's any horde nearby. Oh, the legend I thought was over. It's been so long since I've done this one. It just spawns right around here. So I've been waiting for it to, uh, to spawn. Always buff people, man. I mean, you're in the middle of a while, so that you can get their buffs as well. Should spawn right about here, right in this corner. Impatience is the little killer in Vanilla WoW, though. People get impatient, run off, do things they probably shouldn't do, and I, I fall victim to it just as much as everybody else, and they can get you killed. You know, like this druid. Man, is it really? I don't even remember it was this long enough. But it's been so long since I've this quest, I didn't know it was that long for the timer on the respawn of the tablet, but. So how's this guy doing? No, oh, he's level 60, so he's fine. Yeah, see, there's more horde. Another thing I wanted to talk about is that can create another combat law that's more specific to just like if I create a new log here I was thinking about doing this the other day so let's create a new window we're just gonna call it PvP and if you go into this window let's first get these people all buffed up but if you go in this window and only track Hostile players hits, hostile player misses, and hostile deaths. Um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a window that that will show information around um, other people doing PvP near you, so you can be made aware of when people are actually you know, in combat with the horde. Um, sometimes, you know, the horde will sneak up on you and you don't see, um, yeah, you just don't see them coming, you're busy, you don't, you don't have the camera turn that way, but sometimes it'll pop up in your, in your actual PvP window. Here, you'll see, like, the text show up, and you can also customize the test text. haven't really taken this long to spawn. I 
But um, we obviously we don't want PV. We don't want guild. So let's say channels. We don't want guild. We don't really want party. We don't want yell. Well, no, we don't want yell. And we don't want say. We do want local defense. Now let's, let's turn that off for now. And then the comment messages. These should be red. All right. So what we're trying to do is see red text in this window. All right. And that way it'll be when we see red text popping up in this window, we'll know that somebody's that some horde's fighting somebody, whether they're fighting you or not. We don't you know. It could be that horde killed this person who's standing next to me, or attacking this person standing next to me. It just it just alerts us to like. See here we see this blood scout lizard could die, so that's the message we wouldn't want to see. So you can really customize. I don't think I'm gonna get this. There's just so many people here. And I was yakking. Yeah. At least now I know where it spawns. We're not even gonna get any of the uh, stuff here. see ours. you know comment messages hostile deaths hmm. see he's considered hostile right so we're seeing that but I would imagine a horde player would also be considered hostile We'll just leave that window the way it is for now and see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at this again while we wait for the tablet to respawn. Hostile players. This is hostile though. Spell messages, hostile players, we'll see those. Periodic effects, hostile players, periodic damage, hostile players, we want, we want to see the hostile players, periodic buffs. And let's take off, um, let's take off the hostile deaths. And we're gonna, let's do a, uh, let's just, uh, show, uh, low UI. To clear out, um, and we want those texts to really show up in a color that's very noticeable, like red. And that way, and I used to do this in, um, not Lineage 2, I used to do this in Rurals at MMO. Mm, Ion. I used to do it in Ion all the time. Because people would come up and sneak up on you and gank you all the time. It was really helpful to see um, the red text. You'd see, oh, red text, there's like a hostile player nearby. It just gives you that little heads up warning. I forgot that in, in vanilla, like this tablet quest can be annoying. Like in retail, these tablets respawn instantly. So it just, you know, you wouldn't have to be waiting here like this. I'm saying, I'm guessing it's about a five minute timer. I'm just right clicking on the air here, trying to get this tablet. That's just another tar you know window you can have my little PvP window, just to try to to help you maybe catch on to the fact that someone's nearby, ganking. My legend. I see the Scarlet Crusade tower. I'm just like, and I don't think if you're in a group, it doesn't you know. You, I think you still have to get it like individually. So, you know, I don't want to attack these people because I don't want to be in combat. 
so I'm not going to attack anyone because I don't want to get in combat. Because if I'm in combat, I can't loot the tablet, I don't think. No, plus, I probably could still loot it. Hmm, actually, it was, uh, it was in combat. <laughs> Mage is still trying to level. Come on, the tablet. I'm still right clicking right where it spawns. There, see, and I got it. So hopefully I'll get it. And I did. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Now. Here's another Horty, level 35. I'm going to ignore that. There are a lot, of, a lot of Alliance here. Natural Legends, Crystal Mystery here. There's the one underwater, which is going to be a really difficult to get because of the elites. So, what we got going on here? Is this person in trouble? Not really. Hmm. We'll help them out. What level are they? And they're 38 too, as well. Alright, let's give these guys some buffs too. It's kind of frustrating that people in my guild, you know, when you're in a guild, everybody is trying to to level. And being the guild leader, they, they expect you to be, like, you know, the fastest leveler. And, you know, I have a job, unfortunately. <laughs> I got to play, I got to work Monday through Friday. So I don't get to play as much during the week as, as I can on the weekends. Let's go ahead and get here on this guy. Just hammer them to prevent them from running because it's kind of annoying when they run. Hmm. Just my city of light. Oh, judgment was an ep. But, you know, doing the quest is great, and it's the fastest way to level, pretty much, without doubt, but sometimes I just like to grind miles because I know I'm not going to the chance of me having to fight other people for quest items and getting ganked, or it's going to be a lot lower in certain areas, like the water, you know, the water elementals is a good spot, so... Let's we'll grab this curse's mystery over here real quick. The way to get the other one, the final tablet, would be to basically sit in the water and wait for somebody else who needs it and try to get a group. Um, I guess the guys under the water are elites. Um, more or less, somebody down there and aggro the elites, and as they're swimming up to the surface, go down and get the tablet. 
that's another way you can do it. I think I did get, uh, let's see. Ooh, it's in my inbox, I think. Oh, here it is. Here's my elixir water breathing, so I can use that as well. This is a horde. <laughs> I thought it was like a... Hmm. I just thought it was one of the, the actual NPCs here. That's level 60. They were feigning death. <laughs> it's funny. There's the, the legend right there. So let's go to the tablet. Let's go see if we can grab this real quick. Should I grab what he's stunned? I don't think I'll be able to get it. Nah, damn. It's worth a try. I can judge him. One judge. Boom loop. <clears throat> so we get that troll legends. So we just need that last one. Come on, loot, 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 loot. Where is this? Is that loot? What is this? Roger. Get this buff. Okay, so we have all the troll legends except for the underwater one, which is the elites. We still need the raptors, and I like to get these. These are pretty easy to find. As long as there's no horde over here. Is that a lot? Yeah, fear of them. Is the horde so annoying? Will the lock chase me? He might. I've also got my underwater breathing, underwater potion of breathing, so I could also pop that and be like, "Hey, I can stay underwater for a long time." <laughs> okay, where is that? Let's go this direction. Let's go ahead and pop our water breathing so we got a half an hour that we can be underwater pretty cool huh Ooh, fatigue we don't want fatigue okay yeah see now these guys are elites this is where it's tricky and there's the uh and I already used my buff, which sucks. See, there's two Murlocs there. So at this point, I really need help from either another player. I don't know if I can bubble and loot it. But since the bubble's got four minutes, we might try that. We might try to bubble and see if we can loot it. Hmm, that could be interesting. I don't know if I can take a 37 elite. Probably not. Is it there? Yeah, it's there. That's an oracle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't deal with elites. I mean, if it was just one melee, but since there's a caster. So what we're going to have to do is keep our eye open. Try to get another person into our group. So we'll just ask in general. We'll get lucky and get somebody else who needs it. In the meantime, we're, we're 
to kill some elementals while we wait. Getting much in the way of anybody wanting to help. <laughs> hmm. Not actually myself or a hunter. No seven. Seven agility. It's not. It's not like awesome, but but you know, it's not a bad looking axe. Okay, we got two minutes on bubble. So let's. What's the, what's the duration of bubble? Eight seconds. It only takes probably about seven seconds to loot the tablet. Even if I loot it and die, I don't really want to die because I lose some. Well, most of these buffs, just I lose just the stamina and druid buff. But let's take a look. We are at two minutes. We're just gonna wait two minutes. Let's get in position here. Okay, 47 seconds. Throw in devotion armor for a little extra armor. I don't think you can loot from behind, can you? No. Well, gotta be around the corner here. Okay, ten nine, ten seconds. Here we go. The bubble. Nope. Can't do it. Ah, I wasn't sure if you could or not. Okay, so I'll we'll have to do that part of the quest at a different time. Unfortunately. You can see these guys hit pretty hard. And them days. To use bubble and lay on hands. All right. Well, we have a lot of buffs, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grind out the elementals and see if we can burn through some of this rest time. It's kind of a shame that I couldn't. I didn't think I wasn't sure if you could do that or not. It kind of makes sense that they would say you can't, but it's worth a try. Let's get rid of our PVP window. No, we'll leave it out. We'll leave the PvP window out. We're only seeing hostile players. Hostile players. System messages. Horde zone message. The only other creature say creature there. Local defense would be maybe something you might want to see, but. I think that's fine. <laughs> Somebody died out here. I shouldn't say that. I almost died when I tried to pull these three of these the first time I came over here. It's been so long since I fought these guys.
two warrior. Oh, sneeze. Sorry about that. Mm. I should have pulled more, but that's fine. Mm. Bank. <laughs> healing and buff mana. So yeah, 39. We need to get to 40 for our enchantment. So we still have a ways to go yet. I do have ah, a couple of quests down south, but these are like level 41 mobs at the south, so and we got Zancel's Secret and the Singing Blue Crystals, so Making money's not too hard. I can probably farm Scarlet Mastery for loot. I'm not sure what level I have to be to start AoE farming Scarlet Mastery. Should be interesting. I know uh, Hobbs. If you look up Hobbs, wow, he he does that. He was doing that in the original vanilla. And there's a lot of he's just got videos up on YouTube still showing him do that. I don't know what level he was. If he was 60 or or what do you what do you hear? Yeah. Uh, well, he would like pull like the whole freaking instance. I mean, seriously, he'd pull like just pretty much almost everybody in the instance at once on uh, on Cathedral. So it was pretty impressive. And Skull Flame Shield and probably some pretty decent gear. that into my into my seals let's try to try this out and see how this works so if I create a new macro right, and I say new and let's see I've got seal of light All right so seal of light which is this one we're gonna say seal seal of light plus start attack okay and then we're just gonna pull up our book here so I'm being lazy right now. And we're going to say Seal of Light. And then we're going to say Oh, so we don't want rank 1 though. Well, at least we only have rank 1 so we don't have a choice. And we're going to throw in our attack macro. Copy this. Okay, I'm going to save this. This should, we're going to see, put this over here for now, if uh, when I throw up seal, like if I left click this mob, what is this, okay, if I left click this mob, I think this person's just swinging through, if I left click this mob, throw up seal of light, I'm already, I should already be attacking, see that, then I can cast that, so that just saves me a little bit of time.
Alright, so again, from the left click target. I'm not attacking him yet. I'm gonna throw up my seal of light. Which now I'm attacking. Judge him. Pull these two. Let's go ahead and throw up red aura. Read to our mana buff. Keep consecration up. So that works out pretty well. And uh, I'll probably need to put that on my other seals as well. Seal of Light should have that. The only other seals, really all my seals should probably have it, to be honest. Give this guy his little buffage. Make him happy. What else can we do? Well, really just the signal Thorn Tigers and the Raft Raptors. And the crystals from the um, goblins over by the construction stuff. On the other side, I will a little tired because I actually took a sleeping pill. I didn't think I was going to be playing well. Because <clears throat> my girlfriend was in here. And... But... She said I could go ahead and play, and she actually went and jumped in the other room, so that was nice of her. But sometimes I'll take a little pill that's got a little melatonin in it, and if I feel like I'm having a hard time getting to sleep, which happens to me a lot because I'm, my brain's constantly thinking about so many things at once, thinking about work, thinking about WoW, thinking about the game I want to make. I mean, is it, you know, thinking about my game. If you guys ever watched Grandma's Boy, the movie, but... Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Just thinking about my game. <laughs> nah, he's not even judged. Should have burned some of my mana off casting a spell. That's alright, we'll just eat up. Guessing heal before I stab it, that's okay. Now where's that air text? Someone's saying that they think it's in there. I didn't see it. I don't want to see air text. Start attack off. So show tutorial, show details. Show de All right, let's go back to here real quick. Um, let's close this down. It's not going to be in here, is it? Ah, uh, this is shaders. This is just purely video, so I didn't think it would be in video, but since I didn't see anywhere else, I wanted to check. It's not key bindings, obviously. Interface options, advanced. Show detail, auto join. Floating combat texts. Enable, show, show.
Okay, see, I don't see it here. I'm trying to disable the uh, air text. I know they added it to retail a while, but I still don't think it's in vanilla. And go saying, oh, I'm sure you can go to your interface and remove that, but I'm not seeing it. Macros, logout, key bindings, macros, interface options, like sound options add it. See, like, like enable air speech, so I disable that. <laughs> which will get rid of the chick saying there's actually a voice that will say you know you've already done that you can't can't do that you've already done it <laughs> yeah, stupid chat here I'm in 2014 nigga this is where we can use my uh, spam throttle see if I don't want to hear what these people are saying I can go boom Ban, Oop, ban, ban, and then I, each person I ban, I won't see any of their messages for six minutes. So here it says, add it to your local spam file for 3600 milliseconds. <laughs> so that will basically kind of clear out those messages. I'll have to look at them. <coughs> Sorry. Well, I hate losing the underwater breathing, but no, I could. You can just go down there and loot, the, maybe loot it. But I don't think I could before they'd hit me. You know, loot it and then get, let them kill you and just res. But I don't think I'd die before I got it looted. Actually, I know I would. I know I'd get hit. Oh, oh we're just, I think that sleeping pill's kicking in. It's gonna be hard to stay awake. cargo ban <laughs> Be cool if you had a macro, and you could do it in retail easily. I used to be able to run these macros for stuff like um, you know, cast seal of light, target nearest enemy target, you know, cast, you know, judgment. I, mean, I could set a macro where I just hit one button and it would automatically. I don't know if it would do. I'm not sure if it would allow me to do two spells though. Usually it wouldn't let you can't combination two spells, I don't think, in a macro. In Lineage 2, you could do all that stuff. You know, I could do stuff like, you know, cast Seal of Light, target's nearest enemy, cast this spell, walk back three steps, cast this spell, walk forward three steps, loot. You know, I could actually macro all that stuff 
in lineage too. It was pretty cool actually. <laughs> Video is at 50 minutes. Yeah, it's kind of sucks because I took that sleeping pill, so now I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. I'd say we lost some of our own level characters. Well, either that or they've been leveling up. Cause they are, they are, well, they've just been leveling up. I like to bring them into the guild in, in groups. <laughs> so, like, if I... That way they can level up together. You know, try to get them out. See, here we've got, like, from level, like, 20 down to, to 1. We've got, we got a few. But I like to do a lot of guild recruitment, maybe get like 30 people in the guild. That way, as those 30 people are loving, some of them will leave the guild, some will be inactives. You know, they won't be reactive players, but the ones who are active, they can kind of like group together and help each other. Oh. Oh. Sorry, guys. My stupid sleeping pills kicking in. You know, items are just some more, uh, you know, they last a lot longer. You get a really nice blue and you might have it for like six or seven levels. Retail well, you get a nice epic and not only last you a couple days. <sighs> it's a shoulder. <coughs> and see, now the people at band are starting to come back. Oh, we can fix that. We can just ban him again. Look at his name. even says, I'm not black. Sleep. So I'm gonna hearth back to the inn. Unfortunately, <sighs> fall asleep. How much is this axe worth? Wow, one point one three gold. It's not bad. Okay, let's check our banker. I put up, let me put up some more elemental waters to see if it's sell. Let's see if it's sold because I've got a lot of elemental water from farming those elementals. It could it could have been a fairly lucrative uh, grinding spot if the elemental waters were selling. Like you know, like every time I listen, they sold. But I'm not sure if they are or not. Let's find out. I did sell about 20 of them the other day, but then I listed about 10 more and none of those sold, so. And it looks like they sold. They have 17 silver, but yeah, see, so they all sold, so that's good. So what we're gonna do is gonna hit return, return. Let's see if we can move this. Let's check our box. 
Okay, um, wool cloth, yeah. Let's take that. Wool cloth, yes. Strength and pages we can just return. Oh, I'm so tired. All right, guys, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm exhausted. In that. <sighs> oh, that sleeping pill I took is really kicking my butt. But that's good. That's what it's supposed to do. To break. Uh, and then when I get off work tomorrow at 5, as I'm working from home tomorrow, so I should be able to put up, you know, more videos tomorrow. So, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.